show this latest uh, TV spot for um, The Rise of Skywalker. And there were two things in it. Uh, this is the Celebrate TV spot. Have you seen this or heard about this? I have not seen uh, this one. Okay, so, so this is another TV spot. It's not like a whole lot of new things, but there's two things in it that I wanted to call to your attention. So let's see here. First is this scene. Can you see see what's going on here? Hold on, right my, back. my my screen actually just went dead. Oh, so you I can't, can't see, see anything it at all? Yeah, like my whole screen just went dead. It's really weird. I don't understand. Uh oh. It looks like we lost a uh, day from the feed completely. That is not a good sign. So I am going to see what's going on with Dave here because it looks like we, we completely lost him. Oh, he's back. Oh, sorry. That was great. I, I lost it. It totally went out all together. Sorry about that. No problem. Uh, okay. it, it wasn't that long and I was, I was, I was uh, trying to tap. So okay. um, can you see the screen now? Yes, I can see the screen. So let me get to the, this goes by really fast. So just kind of keep an eye and I'll, I'll try to freeze it. Okay. So you see these, these, the, you got walking. these guys walking. Yeah. Some dudes walking. Got it. Looks well, like an Imperial. Dudes. Oh, it's the Knights of Ren. Finally. Yes. So we know besides the sort of like, I guess, kind of hero shot that we had in that previous TV spot we talked about last week, it looks yeah. like we've got at least one scene of Kylo Ren walking uh, with the Knights of Ren uh, to do something. My guess is to confront someone or something like that. Who knows? You never know right. what the you know, trailers are all about, you know, uh, basically diverting your attention and, and making right. you think things that aren't going to really happen. Uh, but uh, but it, uh, he clearly is kind of marching with them in a menacingly, a menacing way. Uh, we can also it, see his, it, his, uh, his helmet has been repaired. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say it's it's clearly after he repaired the helmet, so it should be it shouldn't be a flashback. It should be, you know, unless they're showing us something they don't intend to pay off. It, it should be something that's happening, you know, either direct, roughly within the timeline of the movie. Right. So. So so that's I think interesting. I'm I'm I think you and I have both kind of felt like uh, the Knights of Ren uh, deserved a little bit more. Um, actually a lot more. I think the Knights of, of Ren yeah. should have been sort of a central uh, part of the movie um, and explained more and delved into more, at least to see what they do, what they're about, even if we don't get all their origins and all that stuff, um, at least to just see them in action, seeing them be badass. So, you know, I, I wanted to see the destruction of the Jedi Temple. I wanted to see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, I did too. So uh, hopefully they're going to be doing something cool. And not just get wiped out, you know, in five right, seconds, right. Or, so, or fall into a chasm. You know, they're they're, wa they're 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 walking off the edge of a cliff right now, like lemmings. You know what I mean? Um, right, ho right. Hopefully that's not the case. But I did want to point that out because it is another cool shot that we get to see that does look like the Knights of Ren will be doing something in this movie. So that's something that I'm I'm hoping happens, and I'm hoping it's at least that's cool. And then the other thing is this: this is our. First uh, oh. uh, picture of how uh, Princess Leia is going to appear in the new film. And yeah, I was uh, I was uh, kind of taken aback by this because uh, I don't recognize this outfit from the previous films, and I thought that uh, pretty much all the footage they were using um, was essentially outtakes from the the previous film, which but that which right. I, it, which as far as I know is the case. Now, obviously, they she could have been in other outfits that we just never saw. Um, and that were, you know, these the scenes were deleted for whatever reasons. Um, a lot of people are, are looking at the lightsaber. Um, right. And, and on, on this, uh, this platform, unfortunately, you can't really zoom in or anything like that. But um, I think it does look like just, it looks like Anakin's lightsaber. Uh, you know, the one that Luke had, the, the one that right, Ray right. brought, you know, uh, brought back and all that stuff. Um, but some people are speculating that this is Leia's lightsaber, uh, hmm. which is, which is an interesting idea. I don't think it's consistent with the other two films at all. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. I think she's just holding Luke's lightsaber. What do you think about that? Well, I think I mentioned to you that I had heard somewhere or read somewhere um, that uh, there was was spoiler warning, obviously, um, here for Rise of Skywalker, although in reality I haven't seen it, so I, this is all speculation. Yeah, this is speculation, yeah. But I had heard that, there's gonna, that the movie is going to open with a scene 
with um, basically a, a U Luke and Leia from the uh, basically sort of the end of Return of the Jedi, and that Luke is going to be giving Leia basically some of her first lessons kind of in the Force, and that there may be some lightsaber stuff actually in that sequence, and it sets up the fact that Leia is has trained in the Jedi arts with Luke, which explains her flying in the last uh, Jedi and that she is actually the one training um, uh, Ray at the beginning of the movie. And it's going to segue from, you know, Luke and Leia training to essentially Leia working with Ray. And that that's where, you know, she's going to be the one basically who completed her training kind of idea. So See, my, my big question for that is, you know why uh, she didn't need any training from Luke. Uh, she's she's uh, she's beat Kylo Ren twice now, right? So why does she? Why would she need any training from Leia? You know what I mean? I don't know. I, like I said, it's just it's like I said, it's, it's speculation. I, I read it or heard it somewhere, but I'm just saying that this scene could be. You know, she's turning to the camera. She's holding a lightsaber. You know, we could have just had a flashback scene with a young version of her with Luke, you know what I mean, on indoor, and it, and it could, you know, because, hell, this planet could be indoor for all we know. So it, it would make sense because that kind of turning, holding a lightsaber would be like she's been lost in, in memory reflecting, and then she's turning, and she looks, and then Ray's uh, doing something. So that's, that's my thought. So, But as far as the lightsaber, I mean, it does look a little bit like Anakin's. And it could either be she's holding Anakin's or it could be hers. You know, if, if they do that flashback sequence, she could be holding technically her lightsaber. So it's kind of interesting, you know, because I can't help but wonder because, you know, what I what I'd heard and I just talked about was that I heard that this is I heard that everything with Princess Leia is is uh, outtakes from The Force Awakens, not even uh, um, The Last Jedi. It's 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 outtakes from The Force Awakens. That's why it's one of the big reasons why Rey is back in her old outfit. Right, because right. they had to sync them up because to me that doesn't make any sense. I'm like, why is she in her old outfit? We saw her in a new outfit at the end of the of the Last Jedi. Why is she in her old out her old Jakku rags again? Luke never went back to his rags, his desert rags. You know what I mean? Right, right. But but um, so that was my understanding to fit in with what I was seeing visually. So I, I kind of wonder with this scene and if they do something like what you're saying. Uh, how did they do it? Did they do it with a lot of body doubles? Because I can guarantee you they never did any of this stuff with Carrie Fisher. So I'm kind of wondering, um, I can't guarantee that, but I, I just don't think they did. I don't think they did anything like that with Carrie Fisher. So I wonder how this is accomplished. Is it through body doubles? Is this a situation where they've uh, uh, digitally, you know, altered this somehow where it's, it's, you know, it's, it's her, her head and stuff like that, but like it's somebody else's body. I don't know. You know, they can, they can, it doesn't look like that. I don't see any obvious signs of that. Um, but I, I just kind of wonder how they would accomplish that because it just seems to me that there's there's very little evidence that, that, that during either of the two previous saga films that they did any kind of scenes like that with Carrie Fisher. Um, and, and the fact of the matter is, it, you know, it sounds like, she, you know, one of the reasons, you know, I, one of the reasons I think obviously that she's not really in The Last Jedi all that much is because she wasn't in great health. And she, right. she died very shortly after the film came out. So I, I think that's one of the reasons that she's in stasis most of the movie. And again, that also goes back to what I've heard, that that the footage that we're going to see is not uh, outtakes or, or anything from uh, The Last Jedi. It's from The Force Awakens. So we'll see. If they do something like you're saying, I, I'd be very curious to, to, to know how they accomplish that, you know, uh, because right. I, I question how much uh, actual actual footage they have. Uh, of her, uh, of Carrie Fisher, uh, for real. So we'll have to see. I mean, I, I remember, I think it, I think Kathleen Kennedy said she would not do the digital alteration thing. She wasn't going to go the Tarkin route, um, right? Which I didn't have a problem with the what they did with Tarkin. I actually liked it, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see that with Carrie Fisher and Leia. So we'll see what they do. Um, but a lot of speculation is on this lightsaber. Whether this is her lightsaber. Or if it's you know Anakin Luke's lightsaber, so we'll right. just have to see when the movie comes out. But I thought I'd, I'd throw that at you. No, yeah, 